I have spent more time than I'd like to admit of my life trying to please other people. I have spent more time of my life holding back the things that actually bring me enjoyment for fear of embarrassment, of being judged or ridiculed by other people. And then I say to myself, well, self, do I want to be like those people? Do they really look happy? And now that I'm really taking a glance out there, it's starting to make more sense why I keep, how do I say, let me try that again. I ask myself, do I want to be keeping up with the Joneses? Do I want to be doing the same things that they're doing? All I got to do is generally look at their face. Look at the things that come out of their mouth and the bullshit that they talk about other people and about uh, all the negativity going on in their life. And then I think that's why I don't want to be keeping up with the Joneses because the Joneses got their own set of problems. The things that they may like may not be good or productive, much less good or productive for my life. Be yourself. Don't um, think that the things that bring you joy or that the crafts that you have are of no interest or value. Don't think that if you um, don't have interests outside what some people find to be entertaining, entertaining, don't worry about it. Your job is to be you. Your job is to make you happy. Because hello, you live in there, right? You might worry about what other people say. You might sometimes say, I wish I was doing some of the things they were doing. But ultimately, you live with you. You know the things that bring you joy or the things that bring you anger. So, you know, you might like something as simple as reading books and think, who's interested in that? I'm stay home, I'm a bookworm. You know what? There are a lot of bookworms out there and a lot of us who like to read books and share books even join groups where we talk about the books, lessons learned from the books, creative minds. Maybe your joy is cooking. Man, I wish I could cook. I am not a good cook, you guys. I'm really busting myself out. <laughs> anyway, cooking ain't my strong point yet, but it's on my maybe list. Yes, it's on my maybe list. <laughs> you know, don't overlook the small joys because we're always waiting for something to happen. And we're so busy waiting and looking that we don't realize when it's happening because you're not living in the moment. Take time to live in the moment. Take time to ground yourself and be present. Take time to take your shoes off. See, I'm a girl who wears sandals because I like to stay grounded to the earth, to the elements. Polarity is important. The earth access and alignment is important. Your spiritual growth and alignment is important. Everything about you is important and unique. Nobody has lived the exact lifestyle you have. People may have had things similar, but they haven't had the exact same as you. You are unique. 
you may have experienced the same thing as somebody else and you could all say, me too. But in reality, your soul may have been the same in the me too, but your body went through it in a different way here on earth. Because we all grow up in different regions, under different religions, under different um, circumstances. That's why it's always important to remember, you are not your environment around you. Your soul house is within you. Don't forget that. Greatness truly is within.